for the ignition maybe I just keep it this way but I do have a uh, Burton racing uh, colon plugs I found it to be it's not really needed when you go on boost I mean this is fine you can make 450 plus on this one and you would not have any problem with it but it looks cool though the COP yeah you uh, you kind of lose all this uh, ignition wires and all that it makes it neat Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the uh, small project that I have to do, like I have told you on the last episode, that I'm going to uh, install another vacuum source. This will be shared by boost gauge and also blow off valve. I put a rag inside, minimize the uh, cleaning, maybe I'll put a Vaseline on this, that way it will catch some of the uh, material that's coming off. Okay. I'm making sure I'm going in straight, I'm eyeballing it, making sure, put some grease. Vaseline just to catch some of the material that I'm cutting through on that material. shavings just give it a try all right I'm all good Okay, let me check this on the sunlight make sure I see some uh, shaving inside I'll make sure to uh, clean that off I'll be back here it is should fix my craving for another vacuum source this is my inlet air temperature sensor
I'll be doing some upgrade on the fuel injectors from RC Engineering to ID1000. I was using this on the other uh, turbocharged G23. The S300 that I'm going to use together with this motor now, it has a tune using these injectors. A little bit of a history on this cap, how I ended up with this. I was troubleshooting some air leaks on the intercooler piping. I was using a smoke and I learned to find out that the uh, the rubber bushing this thing came off it was it was leaking it was kind of like that it popped out so from there I was looking for something that I could use something sturdy and I came across on Roscoe Racing I'm not sponsored by him and that's the reason how I got this one He have this thing advertised for a uh, Euro R intake manifold and it works for regular H22. For some of you that don't know, this is the RBC intake manifold that I cut off. The flange is from H22. So that's what it looked like. Let me tell you a little bit of my fuel rail. I'm using the original OE fuel pressure regulator that's blocks racing. The end I converted into uh, A end fitting. I was just using one of those, uh, and it works, no leaks. I cleaned up the uh, intake manifold and wash it off and spray a little paint on there yeah i don't have any more of the uh the wrinkle paint and i was using a flat and that's how you see it right there put all my injectors Okay, let's put the nut. I'm moving it up and down, make sure I don't bottom out on the air. Uh, Cause it looked like, the spring looked like it's already uh, all the way compressed, but uh, it's not, I still have some space on there. Okay. Good. All right, I think I'm ready to, uh, to put this back in. Everything is painted. Oh man. Hmm. A scratch on it already some battle scars already on it 
Okay, got all the vacuum uh, fitting. I'm all good. Time to put it back in. It's gonna be hard for me to uh, not to put any scratch on this thing. <laughs> oh well. Let me button this up and I'll be back. Only thing I got left, map sensor. We don't want to forget that. Everything else underneath is all buttoned up. This is the only thing that's left for the intake manifold. Actor. Somehow this thing doesn't uh, lock. I'll just put some uh, tie wrap over it. All right, it's all good, man. Yeah, it's working out good. This is the vacuum line for blow off valve. It's good to go. Everything is all buttoned up. And the only thing that's left is hot charge piping. I'm waiting for the uh, silicone coupler. I'm going to put it on there 45 degree and attaching the uh, oil supply lines and also the water coolant uh, wastegate what else injectors are put on s300 will be installed uh, soon the tune that I have on that s300 is enough to uh, to keep this thing running the only difference is I think uh, it's the intake manifold because I used to have a Euro R intake manifold on that tune. But other than that, uh, it'll be good. But I'm still going to see David get this thing tuned. Uh, oh, the exhaust manifold, the downpipe. But that should not take that long. And the inlet charge piping. I'm going to uh, apply a Cerakote on this. Yeah. Yep. So it'll be like a match set. Till I put on one of these. I'm gonna remove that. That's the authentic HKS. I'm gonna use that and put it onto here. Well, this is where I conclude this episode. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next, okay? The sauce is getting complete. Slowly, I'll be there. Bye everyone and I'll see you guys on the next. All right, cool man. Well, this picture is all these posters is back in a day. Some of you probably did this sometime in your life where you have some pictures and you cut it off and you just lower it like that type R. See? 
on the prelude fourth gen man good times back in 92 and that's my uh, cousin's uh, 240 SX SR20 swap that's in my backyard we used to put the three cars right here at the back man time flies man hit that notification bell and like button <laughs>